All right, I don't know about you, I'm a little tired to smoke salmon, so today we're doing smoked trout spread with a watermelon radish, and there is a four ounce piece of smoked trout. Uh, I think it's from Washington State, but I already threw away the package, so I'm not sure. Uh, half a lemon and some fresh tarragon. Fresh tarragon, my all-time favorite uh, smoked fish herb. All right, uh, that is just a cup of cream cheese, and in case you're wondering, no, I did not measure it. Uh, I got some black pepper, and I'm going to sneak in some cayenne later, but uh, that's pretty much the ingredients. So now all these smoked trout, they always come with the skin, all right, which is good because the oil in that skin really helps absorb um, that nice smoke flavor when they smoke it over the wood. So what you want to do, and this is cold of course, uh, you're just going to peel that meat right off the skin. Very simple. Now this should be completely boneless, but you never know. So the first step here, just kind of flake it up with your fingers, break it up roughly, and if you do find any any bone or anything uh, that you wouldn't want to eat, pull it out. But uh, this one in particular was, uh, I didn't find anything. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a fork, and we're going to use the back of a fork, and we're just going to kind of mash it on this plate. Now I don't want a, a, a smoked trout puree here, but I do want it fairly uh, well smashed. Uh, so just go with the back of your fork, and it'll take a couple minutes, but that's pretty much what I want to get down to. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix everything together. Yeah, this is a very complicated recipe, by the way. So take your bowl with your a cup of cream cheese, approximately, uh, your trout. I chopped up my uh, two sprigs of tarragon, and I'm going to squeeze in half a lemon. You see there. All right. And then a little pinch of black pepper, optional. And don't you love when chefs say optional, like, you know, oh, I thought I had to. So that's optional. Also optional, some cayenne pepper. By the way, cayenne, very healthy for you. Google that sometime. All right, and then mix it up with your spatula. Now, what the deal is here when you mix these kind of spreads up, they get kind of soft, all right? And I don't think the texture is perfect right after you mix them. So I always like to chill these in the fridge first before I serve them. I mean, you could put this out on a, in a bowl and serve it with some toast. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack them in these little uh, ceramic ramekins and just chill it for a couple hours and, uh, and then serve it. So I put these in these little Le Creuset, uh, just ceramic ramekins. I'm going to put a piece of plastic over. Now, also, this uh, not only does it you know keep it wrapped up, but it's also, when I peel that off, going to give me a nice, smooth surface. And I think I'll sprinkle a little more cayenne on top later. But that's pretty much it. So pop that in the fridge for an hour or two. And uh, now here is something that's going to be so cool as a garnish. That's a watermelon radish. Looks like a turnip. But check this out when I cut this in half lengthwise. It is, actually has a green outside and just this really cool kind of red watermelony color inside. Hence the name, watermelon radish. And it is a radish. It tastes like a radish. Very mild flavor. Very delicious. Uh, Northern California, these are in the market now. Um, if you can't get these, you know, sorry. You can use regular radish. But doesn't that look like a slice of watermelon? All right, so I'm going to slice that. And this makes just a, such a perfect garnish for my smoked trout. Uh, radish and trout, a very natural uh, combination or sm with any smoked fish, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to slice up some watermelon-like pieces, and then here's where I'm just going to go nuts. i got some black sesame seeds, and we're just going to sprinkle those seeds onto those slices, and we are going to make little miniature slices of watermelon, and it's, it's so cute. I'm going to get emails because of how cute this is. In fact, I'm going to get emails, hey, you jerk, I can't find watermelon radish. Uh, I'm sorry. You can use regular radish, I said. I just This is a product very common in Northern California, and it is a nice, kind of interesting idea. I used to tell my students, um, you know, great, unique, interesting ingredients uh, always make up for a lack of talent. So um, whenever you can use something a little different, always go for it. And, of course, if you have the talent also, then you are unstoppable. All right, so anyway, that's my smoked trout spread with some... Uh, Watermelon radish. I'm going to serve this with some toasted bread, probably. You can go low carb and just eat it on those uh, radish chips. But uh, either way, I hope you give it a try and enjoy.